everybody, it's Miss Whitney, and it's time for art. Today, we're learning all about American artist Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe's artwork is best known for depicting natural objects, such as shells, rocks, or bones. Her most famous paintings were of flowers. Georgia O'Keeffe's art is known as modern and abstract because rather than trying to get her paintings to look exactly like a flower or exactly like a shell, she focused in on some of the smallest details of the natural object. Georgia O'Keeffe was really interested in the color hues and the shapes or the forms of an object. Sometimes when you're looking at one of Georgia O'Keeffe's paintings, it might be hard to tell at first exactly what it is. But if you look at the small details like the colors and the shapes, you can eventually figure out which natural object she was studying. Today, we're going to get to create and study the details of natural objects just like Georgia O'Keeffe. For this art activity, you will only need a couple of things. First, you'll need some Play-Doh. If you don't have Play-Doh at home, that's okay. We've included a recipe for Play-Doh on our blog post. You'll also need to go outside and find a natural object that looks like it has beautiful details to you. Now that you've got all your materials, let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is study your natural object. I chose this flower. I'm going to look carefully at the form or the shape of this object and then try to make it out of my Play-Doh. Now that you've created the form or the shape of your object, you're going to act just like Georgia O'Keeffe. Look at the small, tiny details of your natural object and try to add those in to the form you created. You can do this by just using different small balls and shapes of your Play-Doh, or you might wanna grab a tool like a plastic knife or a spoon or even a pencil. Now that you've created your natural object out of Play-Doh, the last thing is just to compare it to the actual object that you found outside. See what details you were able to capture the best. Study each small part of your object, just like Georgia O'Keeffe would. The best part of this activity is that you can do it over and over again. You can reuse your Play-Doh and discover other natural objects outside too. Thanks so much for joining me for art today. If you're looking for other art activities, visit our blog post at sd cdm.org. Thanks everyone.